Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this particular video is regarding Summer Research Fellowship Program 2022 and this program is organized by three different institutes as you can see from the logo itself. Uh, these are Indian Academy of Sciences, Indian National uh, Science Academy and the National Academy of Sciences. So these are three institutes which are collectively organizing this particular internship. Now this is the page which where all the notification and all the information is given to you. Uh, you can click on this particular link to get through the announcement once you click over here you can uh, like you will be taken to a page where all the announcement and other things are written over here but i will be talking about all the important things which you need to know and who are eligible to apply for it how you can apply it for this particular fellowship program and why it is so important or why you should actually consider to apply for this now here on this particular slide show you can see all the three institutes which are actually into it or which are actually organizing this particular summer research fellowship program. Before going into the video, I would like to thank Karthik for providing the information about this. Thank you Karthik, a big shout out to you. Now without wasting any time, let's continue with our video. Alright, so as I showed you already that this is the notification page, there is all the information over here. Now you just have to come a little down for all the information and all the instructions. This is the general instruction which are over here that the application should be submitted online. Okay, so you have to submit online application in the prescribed format and these are the email, uh, sorry, these are the websites on which you can get the link of it. Although I will tell you that you don't have to go over there, you will get the link over here itself. Now what are the things which are required is that you have to mandatory like it is a mandatory to upload your mark sheet of class 10th and till the last examination whatever last examination you have given you have to upload all the mark sheets up till there all right only one application per candidate is considered so don't fill more than one applications and you have to mark all the answers or you have to fill all the answers which are marked with as, as stressing uh, last date for applying for this particular fellowship is uh, 30th of november 2021 so if you are interested in this particular research fellowship program, apply it before 30th of November 2021. All right. Okay. Now let's look upon the eligibility criteria. Now this particular fellowship program is for teachers also and it's for students also. Now teachers and students both have their different eligibility criteria. So let's look upon them one by one. So for students, the applicant should, should be studying in one of the following courses. Now you can look upon the list of the courses like uh, it carries both like uh, the bachelor's course also and the postgraduate course course also so it consider both like graduate and postgraduate courses so you can read about it and you can check it out if any one of you belong to this uh, since i'll be talking about the chemistry portion and the people who resonate around chemistry so uh, if you are in bsc sciences like bsc and if you have any of the subject if you are in the second year of bsc then also you can apply for it and if you are in msc first year like ms msc mvsc in m pharma all if you are in the first year of them then also you are eligible to apply for that right but see it is not mentioned that if you are in the third year of bsc uh, you can apply so that means that bsc second year students become eligible for it bsc third year students are not eligible for it same goes for msc msc first year students are eligible for it but msc third year student sorry msc second year students are not eligible for it right so just look upon this particular eligibility criteria and check it out if you are eligible for this or not so uh, make sure that the eligibility like you you fulfill the eligibility right so it is very clearly mentioned just read if you fall like if you fall in this particular given eligibility criteria or not that's it for teachers it is like teachers must be teaching in a college or university okay uh, the minimum percentage of average marks in the core subject that is excluding the languages means uh, the, sign, uh, the English, Hindi, all those languages if you have studied. So excluding those marks only in your core subject from your class 10th to the post graduation. All right. It should be 65% or above. Okay. For a student minimum percentage of the average marks does not apply for the teacher. So it is only for the students 65% or above from your class 10th till your uh, whatever the last degree which you have done make sure that you are excluding all the languages exam like 
you are excluding english hindi any language which you have studied in your class 10th okay four subject means if you have studied sciences if you have studied science in class 10th that will be your core subject in your 12th physics chemistry maths or physics chemistry biology that is going to be your core subject all right okay phd students are not eligible so if you are a phd student you are not eligible for this applicants who have availed the academic fellowship twice before are not eligible to apply so if you have already applied for this particular fellowship before twice okay means two times before this then also you are not eligible to apply for it okay rest of the things are over here like how you have to write it up so you need to write up like you have to submit a write up okay or statement of purpose you can call it so which will be about 150 to 250 words and this will talk about the specific area in which you want to work and make sure that when you are writing this it, this should be very clear that why they should give you this fellowship okay so why you become eligible to apply for this fellowship that you have to mention or that you have to specify uh, while writing your write-up okay so make sure that you are doing that and a write-up should not be a copy paste right and you don't have to use any specific specific characters like these because the software will not take that okay now both students and teacher must upload a scanned version of mark sheets from class 10th till the last exam which you have done in the jpeg format or jpeg format uh, teachers applicants should upload their publication so if you are teacher and if you have public like if you have any publications you have to upload that on selection an authorization letter from the principal uh, that necessary permission leave of the absence will be granted should be sent by post so once you get selected this is for teachers okay this line is for teachers so once you get selected uh, you have to also make sure that you give a letter of like no objection certificate from the principal or hod in the institute in which you are teaching so currently wherever you are doing job wherever you are teaching you have to apply or you have to send a uh, no objection certificate that whatever leave you are going to take to do this particular fellowship program that is granted to you right now other matters you can read about it there are various points which are mentioned over here now how to apply for this that i just want to clear this out over here so just down this page you get this click here to register just click on this and you will be taken to this page now uh, before this particular video i have also uploaded once again when uh, when the 2021 summer research fellowship program was organized so you can check it out there as well if you have any doubt but yeah you have to choose here that whether you belong to a student category or teacher so let's say we are a student we have to choose that which subject we belong to so let's say we belong to chemistry and then just click next you have to choose which is the sub area of interest so let's say in organic chemistry and let's say next now you will be taken to this page where you have to fill all your necessary details now you can see it's a whole bunch of uh, information which is required over here you have to just like uh, fill it right now here on this side you can see that click here to view entire list of guides you have to you can click on this and you will be taken to a page where the list of all the guides are there so depending upon their specialization and area of interest and sub area of interest you can choose a guide and that guide you have to provide over here in this particular form while filling the form right and once you fill the form you can just submit and that's it you will be uh, like your application will be done so make sure that if you are interested and if you want to join this research fellowship you should go for it right especially this is for those who are in masters uh, doing their masters and want to do some project or don't want to do some uh, research oriented things so that they can uh, like get a good advantage of it during their phd interview so it's very well recommended for you guys so that's it for this video if you have any doubt while filling the form or while applying for it you can drop that down in the comment section below I'll be replying you over there. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take Unacademy Plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the Unacademy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes, which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take Unacademy Plus subscription by using my referral code 
that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much